Hi, I'm Evelyn Ward, filling in for your regular host, Diane. So glad you could join us once again on Extra. Today, we take a look at how a logistics company is bringing an economic opportunity to people in the remote parts of the central province, accessible only by air. And we talk to a snake handler about his interests in snakes. Firstly, though, more and more people around the world, including PNG, are being killed or hurt by firearms. That is why it pays to know a thing or two about gun safety. Here is Constance Koriwa with this story on gun safety. Do you ever come across times where you have the concern of what your child watches on television and how your child would react to certain images? As a parent, nothing is more frustrating than seeing your child being violent and rebellious all because the young one has either experienced violence in the community or seen it through watching movies on television. In this case, being exposed to movies involving firearms or as many would know as guns. When I was a young person, you know, watching movies and all these things is one of the things I like. And uh, most movies then were about firearms. And I, I think I like firearm, but I never pursued it until I joined the consulary many years back. And um, that was when I was introduced to the firearm and I thought I like it. For our young children, it's not as good as you think it is. You, the, on, the only time that you get interested is when you are adult enough or you're be, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are older enough, the right word, and then you, you know when to use it, when not to use it. Uh, it's not um, now that you are, as a children, and you start to use it because we might have accident at home if you, there is a access to firearm. Uh, it's not a good trait, firearm, it's not a good trait, and um, leave it until you are older enough. Extra had a chat to the passionate Pero Drano, who is the commandant at the Bomana Training College during their firearm training development, to tell us his passion behind the usage of firearms. And now, um, as years go by, during my work in mobile squad, firearm is a, um, the major tool that we use. So I began to learn about firearm and then uh, I got into training and one of the first things that I, uh, I, I do my job is to train people in firearm. And eventually I become good in using firearm. I still have the passion to use firearm, but use it in a proper way that we don't use it unnecessarily that cause inconvenience to the public as well. Like when it's, there's no need to expose a firearm, then we don't do that. We only use it, we expose firearm when we want to use it. And that is given the situation. His advice also to parents. PNG is, is, a, is, a, is a growing nation, developing in a slow pace, it's developing. And I could only refer them to the situation in the States. Look at the US States, a lot of issues with firearm. Because one of the factors, they allow their children to have access to movies and all these things that portray different view and pictures to the children who eventually, some of them, not all of them, I'm not saying PNG kids will be like that, but it's exposure uh, just allow the people to think the firearm is not dangerous. It is dangerous. So for PNG parents, um, just an advice that restrict the use of a media uh, component that does express firearm as important to the life of children. No, it's not. With his passion comes responsibility to use firearms well and to train others, especially police officers, their responsibilities when using the tool during their role of duties in protecting others in the society and the country as a whole. Thanks, Constance, for that informative story. Next, Kashmir Wakan reports on how an air logistics company is helping people in the remote parts of the central province airlift their produce to sell. Top 
Majority of villages in central province are in remote areas where it is only accessible by air transport. Um, throughout central province, so we've got two helicopters that every day service the um, Koyari, Koilala and Rigo districts. Airborne Logistics PNG has been providing a transport service for rural subsistence farmers to bring in their fresh produce to Port Mosby. The extra team was privileged to follow the Airborne Logistics team to Kagi village in the remote mountainous region of Koyari. So every day we run anything from six to eight flights, um, providing transport of people, um, dry goods and freight and produce to and from the various regions. So anything up to about two tonnes a day worth of produce and about 30 people in and out every day. We've got three helicopters, we've got two of them run the service flights and as I said they pretty much run Monday to Friday and we also cover weekends to move extra freight and people. Fresh produce from more than 50 villages in central province are now available to customers in Port Mosby. Most of these fresh produce are sold to supermarkets such as Stop and Shops. These fresh vegetables and fruits were once impossible to transport from these isolated villages. Balusinos are come. I come once, so I come to the charter basis. I have to pay produce from the waste. Now, some people have to sacrifice and I have to pay money to walk about long distance. I have to carry or carry my dream. I have to go down. Maybe sleep in the middle of the night. I have to come. I have to take him two days. I have to pay for the farmer, but I have to pay for the subsistence farmers. So I have to pay for the garden. I have to pay for the garden. I have to pay for the support. Thanks to Airborne Logistics, this fresh produce are now just a 10 minute fly away from Port Mosby. Not only does Airborne Logistics help in flying fresh produce, but it also provides flight services for villages in these rural areas. So look, we've been very grateful for the, the support of the people. And the people have really backed the service and, and our concept. Um, without their support it wouldn't be a viable, a viable or sustainable business and the people have got right behind it and they're making us actually expand so we're looking at extra helicopters and it's all because of the way the people have supported the, the concept and really got behind it.
and don't go away. Coming up, afternoon tea.